In this video, we're gonna talk about investments that beat Philippine stocks. Are there any? Should you invest in them? Everything you need to know about that will be in this video. So check this video out. Hey guys, so as you all know, I'm a very big, big fan of investing in US markets, investing in tech stocks. We've had so many videos here. It's coming out right here, talking about it, sharing to you how you can diversify and explore and go into other markets. But the context of this video is from Susan Khan from Bahrain. Her question is this. Hi, Mr. Germo. I'm a big fan from Bahrain. I heard you talk about Bitcoin, Ethereum, Gold, Silver in passing in the past videos. But I want to know, why are they up right now? And why are they beating the PSE in terms of earnings? I'm a big fan and your thoughts would be so valuable to me. I have been investing already for 5 years but your videos have been a guiding light during these times of volatility. Keep it up sir. Thank you. Susan Khan. First of all, ang ngayon lang tinawag na guiding light. Guiding light? Grabe naman. Uh, that's so that's so nice of you. That's so kind. But please remember, I don't make the videos because I want to be the best. I don't make the videos because I want to be a guru or an expert. That's never my intention. I just want to be the one that makes the most difference. And it's nice no, to see more and more and more Filipinos like you who are overseas that are crushing it, that are investing, that in this time, that's what you're trying to learn. That's what you're trying to know. So I, I salute you guys. So people who are like Susan Khan that want that have specific questions just put them in the comment section and we're going to make videos off of it or if it's a very very personal question slide a dm in my instagram account and i'll try to read it answer it and if you can make a video on top of it also we're going to do it as well and parang awan niyo na wala nang follow sa akin sa instagram kasi hindi ako guwapo hindi ko alam bakit feeling ko kasi pag instagram dapat guwapo ka para i-follow pero youtube Salamat! 132,000 subscribers! Yeah! Anyways, for those who are new to this, hindi talaga ako ganito lagi, but my name is Marvin Germo. I'm a stock market trader and investor, and I've been investing in the market for more than a decade now, and I make daily videos on investing, on stock trading, with one goal, to make education not boring, to make education fun, and in the same way, cause you to act and win and trade the markets with confidence. And that's why we have the daily videos. Now, before I go and talk about your question, basically, uh, Susan Khan was asking about Bitcoin, Ethereum, gold, and silver, and why are they up, and why are they beating the markets, why are they beating the PSE. I want to share that from the four investments that were mentioned, yung investment na meron ako, gold, Bitcoin, Ethereum. I don't have silver, pero I also believe in silver. I just don't have silver. So in terms of exposure, uh, I don't have silver. There are other cryptos also that I have positions in, but it was not part of the question. And just also to clarify, please, 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 please. There's a lot of scams going around uh, using cryptocurrencies, using Bitcoin, using Ethereum, whatever it is. If it's recruitment, if you make money from recruitment, you make money from pairing, you make money that's fixed, and it's not really buying an asset class, and it's a scam. Please remember that. Uh, there's no such thing as you put in money, and then it's just gonna earn miraculously for you with a given fixed income. It doesn't work that way. You have to remember that Bitcoin Ethereum works functions from a supply and demand perspective, similar to gold. If gold has volatility, so has Bitcoin, so has Ethereum, so you can't really get something that's fixed. So I just wanted to share that because I've been getting so many questions regarding that. So your rule of thumb always, when it feels, sounds too good to be true, then it's too good to be true. When it feels, sounds that wala ka nang gagawin, tas kikita ka, then it's a scam. Please remember, I'll say this over and over and I don't know why I'm getting into this because this is something we've tackled in so many videos. If it was so easy to become super rich, then everyone would be rich kung ganun lang kadali, iwan mo lang, tas kikita ka na kagad. It doesn't work that way. Financial freedom, money, riches, wealth, more than enough happens when you work hard for it, when you diversify, when you take risks, when you invest, when you're frugal, when you make the right decisions with your money. 
and it's not that easy. I'm not saying that it's hard for everyone to do it, but I'm saying it requires a lot of effort and intentionality for it to happen. Comment below if you're learning. By the way, comment below. Smash the like button. She said at the start of the question that why are they up right now and why are they beating the PSEI in terms of earnings? Let's see first now to really gauge if they're really beating it. And I'll put the numbers here to compare. PSEI, as of the time I'm making this video, it's 5,833 year to date is 26.59% and we're just gonna use uh, the year to date as a benchmark so that our comparison is the same between the asset classes. So I repeat, PSEI 5,833 year to date negative 26.59% meaning from the start of the year to where we are now to the time we're making the video, the PSEI is down. Now, Bitcoin, at this time it's 11,386 US dollars for one Bitcoin year to date 55,086% so check beating the PSEI next ethereum 392.95 US dollars up 163.7% year to date again it beat the PSEI so consistency susan can next gold as of this time you no know, and the, I, I guess the reason why uh, this is being asked is because bitcoin is surging or has surged or is continue to move up and gold is hitting all-time highs. Comment below, all-time highs, all-time highs. Anyways, 2038.56, year-to-date, 33.23%. Please remember also prior to this pandemic, gold was already going up last year uh, because the biggest risk in the market last year, people were scared about the trade war between US and China. In the same way, silver, 26.756%, year-to-date, 45.90%, also higher than the PSEI. So this video is not to explain how you can get into them and how you can invest into this, but I had so many videos on that. I'll put the link also in the description to discuss how can you can get it. But the general classifications also, if you want to buy gold and silver, is you can buy the tangible asset, or there are savings accounts, not in the Philippines, uh, overseas that attract the price and performance of gold then you also have ETFs that will also track it so that will work also or you can also get the CFD I made videos about that via eToro where you can get the CFD for Bitcoin for gold and ETH as well so all of that are all in the previous videos we answered the question that this asset classes beat the PSEI without a doubt without a doubt I've been so passionate about investing in other asset classes i've been so passionate also about diversification because there will be times like this eh, that your main asset your main favorite investment is not doing so well and if everything is there then you get hit it's nice to have different assets so that when one is not performing well you have others that will fight for you you have others that will earn for you you have others that will somehow balance everything also for you a disclaimer also in terms of diversification no? if you're just starting out and then capital is not so big then don't diversify as much pag medyo malaki na and naghihinayang ka na na whoa if everything is here what will happen to my entire portfolio then that's when you start to diversify when you want to take risk off and when you want to hedge okay so before i also answer why i think they are up let me also segment uh, my rationale on why I bought gold and why I bought Ethereum and why I bought Bitcoin and why I also like silver but I don't have silver. But comment below if you're learning, comment below if this is interesting or Marvin Boring, balik tayo sa stocks, balik tayo sa stocks, balik tayo sa stocks, ayoko na to. Anyways, I've started to accumulate and position in gold. I think the earliest form of it was 5-6 years ago or already and at that time the price of gold was relatively far lower than where we are right now i was investing in it when there was no crisis when there was no pandemic because when everything is good no one wants gold uh, one of the reasons why i like gold is for the very fact that it's treated like a currency meaning gold does not have a lot of industrial uses versus silver versus aluminum versus steel versus iron etc but the reason why gold's price is up is because it's rare and because it's so rare people value it and peg it that it's a proxy to currencies it's a proxy to 
uh, whatever is happening in the economy. You can print so much dollar, you can overinflate it, you can create it, and the value will become lower. But gold, there's only a finite number of gold in the planet. Once na ubus yun, wala na. Unlike money, unlike cash, you can just print, 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 and 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 print, like what the US is doing right now. And when people get scared, they will flock to something, not just understand, but something that they can quantify, that can be reliable. One million US dollars, 10 years from now, may not be worth one million US dollars, but a ton of gold will still be a ton of gold. That's what people can rely on. If you are investing for the first time, you don't have any other investments, it might be prudent, maybe, to have other investments first. But if you have others na, and you just want to hedge, because that's the only reason why I am positioned in gold, is because it's just a hedge. It's for times like this. It's for times when things are so bad that asset will appreciate because people will go there and I still have a return. I still have growth. I have the potential to earn. I have the potential to make more. So that's my rationale for gold. Personally, it's not a growth investment. It's a hedge investment. It's something that will protect me. It's something that will uh, help me, especially in times like this. Now, just to lay the foundation for Bitcoin and Ethereum, everything that I've placed there is money that kumag zero siya, mawala siya. It's money that won't affect me. It's money that I won't need. It's money that won't I won't lose sleep at night. It's money that hindi ako kakabahan. It's money that I don't plan to touch. So my foundation to everything is tanggap ko na kumag zero yun. It's okay with me. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me. And that's my context. So one of the reasons why I went into it uh, after I. I studied it also is that I really believe that its underlying technology, blockchain, is the future. Cryptocurrencies are just basically digital currencies. And it's happening now. People are starting to accept digital payments even more. If you're looking at it from a Philippine context, because of this pandemic, when was the last time you went to the bank? Because of this pandemic, haven't you just transferred your money via your phone, your bank, slash app, slash PayPal, slash Gcash, slash Paymaya? to be able to transact, to be able to pay. You buy it Viber Group, you buy it sa Shopee, you buy it in mo. But there are online payments. Eh. You get what I'm trying to say? Now, as it becomes more accepted, it's not na Bitcoin. The difference lang between a cryptocurrency and what we're using for Gcash, for PayMaya, is it's using either the peso, or if you're using PayPal, it's using dollar or pound or whatever currency that's out there. I really believe blockchain is the future, I really believe because of what's going on, digital currencies, anything that's digital, will be the next wave. Especially now, no, because of the pandemic, people won't be, you won't really see a lot of physical contact. You will see more and more people transact digitally, and it will just push this even further. At this point, I really believe that it could be the currency of the future, or it could be nothing at all. Bitcoin could be the first mover, like Friendster, and then there will be someone like Facebook who will eat it up and will be the prevailing cryptocurrency. Or it could be it already. It could be the iteration of it already. But here's the thing. I don't know. But what I do know is I want to be positioned. So whenever you hear me talk about in videos that tayaan mo, investan mo, lagyan mo ng pera, execute ka, because I do it myself. Eh. For me to really find out, I'm more of a practitioner. I like doing things first to see if it works. Then if it works, I double down and I put more. Because that's what works for me. That's why if you notice it, most of the videos that I share, they're not really theoretical, oh, this is the formula on how you get this. It's not like that. Eh? Most of the things that I share to you are things that I've gone through. One thing also that I'd like to point out is a lot of people, especially the younger generation, they're looking at Bitcoin and Ethereum as their goal. And that's why segment to why are they up right now because Bitcoin and Ethereum is also acting as a proxy similar to gold. Surprisingly, in a bad economy, the Philippine peso is strong. But really, it's not because the Philippine peso is strong. 
comment below kung OFW ka tas bad trip ka bakit yung palitan di pa boros sa'yo it's not because really that the peso is strong it's really because the dollar is weak if there's uncertainty in the Philippines there's also a lot of uncertainty in foreign market in the US market uh, regardless of how you see the political situation there it's the dollar it's their currency that's saying that it's actually weakening Uncertainty in the dollar, uncertainty in the U.S. markets, uncertainty on the election, on their economy, in the recession, on them handling the pandemic, regardless of what the reasons are, has brought a flight to people call either safety, it's gold, or to something that will act similar to the dollar, but it's not really the dollar, but it, beca- it becomes like a proxy for them, which are cryptocurrencies. And in this case, Bitcoin and Ethereum. So, I like Bitcoin, I like Ethereum, I like gold, but again, the name of the game and the rationale on why I'm positioned in them is really also for diversification. So again, to answer your question, Susan Khan, on why are they up, on why are they hitting all-time highs, because of the uncertainty, because of the pandemic, because we are also in a recession. And it's not just the Philippines, a majority of the economies around the world had contractions on their GDP. Please remember, gold is at an all-time high by the time we're making this video, but Bitcoin is still far from its all-time high that it hit uh, more than two years ago. So, but it's starting to recover. Now, the question that Susan was asking is, is it a good time to buy right now? You have to also treat it the way you analyze stocks, meaning, when I say you treat it the way you analyze stocks, you treat it as an investment. That would be up to you and your buying parameters. That would be up to you regardless of what you're using. If you're using technicals or you're using some macroeconomic figure for you to be able to come in, you have to set those rules already. But if there's a rule of thumb that I could give you, the cheapest times to buy gold is when times are good because gold is bad at that time, gold is low. Now, when times are bad, gold is higher, gold is expensive, and of course, no one has a crystal ball. No one can guess, no one can speculate, no one can accurately pinpoint what the price of gold, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and silver will be over the next few months. But there's one thing I do know. The higher you buy it, your risk for downside becomes bigger, and then your upside, your gain, becomes also smaller. Because the name of the game will always be still buy low, sell high. If you buy it at a higher price, it doesn't mean it's not going to go up anymore, but you would also limit your upside. And the same way you treat stocks where patience is so important, is the same way also you should allocate a patience discipline strategy for gold, silver, Bitcoin, and also Ethereum. So my suggestion to, for you, Susan Khan, and to everyone else that's so interested about Bitcoin, Ethereum, gold, and silver, plot your rules. If you just want to trade it, because that's the thing that's going to consolidate in the short term, you can trade the ranges there. But again, you're in it already via technicals. And you can also do those technicals also in stocks. Eh? So if you're more gamay in stocks, why don't you shift? So that's what I'm saying. Uh, if you are in it also that you believe that hmm, Bitcoin and Ethereum might be the future, you have to check your timeline. You have to check your time frame. But if you're coming in right now, then it's way past 10,000. What time frame do you think will you hold it onto? Or gano'ng katagal mo siya hawakan? And what will be your parameters also to sell later on? Because I'll say this again. The higher you buy it, the higher the risk. It doesn't mean it's not gonna go up, but it also will limit your upside. So there! I hope you guys got a lot. I hope this is something that's interesting kahit hindi siya plainly stock market. But if you notice it, the rules, the principles, the techniques on how you can make money outside the stock market, outside Philippine stocks are almost the same. That's why I invest because the principles that I'm using for this are almost the same. It's almost the same. It doesn't change. It doesn't shift. And if you know how to do technicals, fundamentals for stocks, you can trade any market in the world. But again, Kailangan pag-aralan, kailangan pag-isipan. You have to be intentional with it. Because if you just think about it as a hobby, then it's it's just gonna be a hobby. You may not even make money off of it. So there, comment below if you learned something from this. Hit the like button, subscribe button, smash it, share this. Let's spread financial literacy to a lot of Filipinos. If you wanna grab a copy of my books right there, uh, link is in the description. You can order it via Shopee. Five books about stocks, technicals, fundamentals, investing, and everything else in between. 
Then, I have other playlists on other topics. They're also in the description below. I have online courses below about the basics of the market. If you want to join us, you want to subscribe, you want to be part of it. And then, if you have any questions, again, put them in the comment section. We're going to make videos on top of that. Or if it's a private, personal question, DM it to me on Instagram. Now, the reason why I diversify is because I know I don't play a perfect game. I'll make mistakes. I will make mistakes. Again, I'll say it over and over. It's my wife that's perfect. Comment below. Marvin's wife is perfect. Marvin's wife is perfect. So if you're gonna make mistakes, better diversify. Especially right now. When you don't know where the economy will go, you don't know what's gonna happen, what you do on how you allocate your resources will spell well and will do better for you. A lot of people are scared right now. A lot of people are anxious. I just want to share, not connected to this topic, but don't give up. Don't give up. Laban lang. Keep on pushing. Huwag hihinaan ng loob. Kung tingin mo, it's not so good, try to find another way out. Because there's always a way out. There's always a way out. It's not the end. It's never the end. Never think that you are done. Never think that you're a failure. Never think that things won't do better for you. Your greatest days are still in front of you. 2020 may look so bad, but it won't define you. It won't define who you are. You have greatness inside of you. And I repeat that toward the 132,000 watching this, the subscribers watching this, greatness is inside of you. Unleash it. Let it out. Never let what you see around you define how you live your life. Never let the economy define how your day will be. Smile. Hope is in the horizon. It's never the end. I hope you guys got a lot from this. I hope this is something that helped you. Trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys, and God bless you all. Roll, outro!